Welcome to another part of the Core Trust Seal 2325 requirement videos. In this series, we will talk you through the new Core Trust Seal requirements for the period from 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applications, extended guidances, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number 15, technical infrastructure. It gives a summary and highlights the most important aspects, but please do refer to the food guidelines and extended guidelines for the complete requirement text. If you have not already done so, we recommend you watch the general introduction video to this series first. The 15th requirement of Core Trust Seal is technical infrastructure. It reads as follows. The repository is managed on well-supported operating systems and other core infrastructural software and hardware appropriate to the services it provides to its designated community. This requirement makes it explicit that trustworthy repositories must operate on reliable and stable core infrastructure that maximizes service availability. Why is this a requirement for a trustworthy digital repository? Well, for depositors and users, it is crucial that the service they use to deposit or access digital objects remains available and fits their needs. The technical aspects that implement the measures described in the continuity of service, requirement number three, should be detailed here to demonstrate that the repository solution is well managed from a hardware and st software standpoint in order to support preservation workflows. The evidence that is needed in the response statement for this requirement is basically that there is an IT service management in place and that the repository configuration is understood and operated appropriately by staff members. Other evidences may include the description of tools deployed to monitor service availability, as well as procedures and arrangement to recover from incidents. A couple of example statements are presented here to further explain what sort of evidence is expected for requirement number 15. Please note that these are samples and by no means a complete response statement. The first example provides really too little information. An architecture diagram depicting the server room's location and connection should be added, including server description as well as the details on the backup strategy. The next two provide technical details which reflect the overall organization and community standards which have been implemented. They could nicely be complemented with a high-level architecture diagram. So what changes have been made to this requirement compared to the previous version? Well, almost none. The place in the order and structure of the requirements has remained unchanged. This requirement is still related to the topic of information technology and security, and slight changes have been made to the guidance text to better clarify the evidence expected in the response statement. This concludes the instruction on requirement 15 of the new Core Trust Seal requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the Core Trust Seal YouTube channel. You can also find the full set of new requirements for the period 23-25 on the Core Trust Seal website. If you have remaining questions or would like more information, please contact Core Trust Seal using the email address shown here. 